So behind us, as you know, we have the transit version of the Echo, but this is the new Echo Sprinter version, the 23B. Let's check it out. So if you're new to our channel, we have the Win Winnebago Echo on the Ford Transit, which is right over here behind us. But this is the new Sprinter chassis version of that. So let's go inside, check it out. So entering, you still have that awesome metal screen door. And when I say metal screen door, you'll see it is metal graded right here. You have the automatic steps. So this is something, if you've seen the first version of the Echo, this is a different layout in the front. So where I'm sitting, look at this cushion seat over here. And then you can also sit forward right over here as well. This is a huge difference in the Sprinter version. And going forward into the chassis, it is the new Sprinter all-wheel drive chassis. You all have seen a Sprinter, I'm sure. Very comfortable and luxury-like in the front. So up here, you've got your entertainment center with this nice sound bar attached. And then on each side, you've got your big, deep storage bins. So this is 24 and a half feet long. The transit version is 23. By gaining that extra inches, you gain, of course, larger lounge area, but as well, another upper storage cabinet here on the passenger side. We've got the same storage over here, except on this version, it is a little bit smaller than the one we have in the transit. Coming into the kitchen area, right here, we've got our fridge freezer combo, which is a lot shorter than where it is on the transit one. So for people like me, that's awesome. So you can reach the freezer. And up above here, you have an extra storage space as well. And when Brittany said shorter, what she means is it's placed lower in the wall, almost right to the ground. So it makes it that regular shorter people can access the freezer. In the kitchen space, we've got a big deep sink. We have a convection microwave up here and they have the induction cooktop that you can take out and place up here on the counter. So, kind of hidden behind the kitchen space, this is actually your table that you can put up front in your lounge area, so that's a nice added bonus. So right there on the ground is where you insert that big uh, table, and this table right here has a leaf that folds in, and also the whole thing folds down to get out of the way for that larger table. So the back is similar to the Transit Echo where you've got the two twin beds that turn into a king size bed, but with the added length on the Sprinter, you do get some added inches on the end of each bed and the specs will be listed right on the screen for you. So they must have had like a mishap with the mattress. So they actually have the Transit one in here so you can see the difference in length. So for tall individuals, that makes a huge difference. And just for reference, I'm six feet tall, and when I'm in the transit version, my feet do touch. So, uh, you know, if I move my head all the way up, I have like an inch maybe or so or two. Um, but it's uh, it's tight unless you sleep sideways. And if you sleep sideways, you know, east to west, 
then you have a little bit more room for the taller individuals that are 6'2", 6'3", in that range. But if you're tall, Sprinter version may be the one. And one thing they've done different is they have put the AC located here in the center instead of above the sleeping area, above the beds. So it's gonna be much quieter above your head while you're sleeping. And hopefully by putting it in the middle, it also displaces the cool air a little bit better because on the transit version that we own, the front does have a little bit less airflow because it has such a distance to travel and also they have four vents on one side and one on the other side meaning coming out of the AC so it's not as evenly spread out among all the vents. And the bathroom is still one of the coolest parts of the Echo with that being if you haven't seen this it has a pivot wall and here is what the shower looks like when the wall is pivoted over. I have to show you how it works. Just like that. So we're going to try to uh, speak over the music, but here's a storage area to the left of the front door. Here is your propane access, and here is your rear garage space. You got that big pass-through storage space with the molly panels on the doors. So something to note about this, this part right here, this is a lot longer than the one that is in the transit version. So yeah, that ledge is much shorter in the transit version, only goes to about there. You still have that optional bat wing awning right there on the side and it pivots around and covers the back also. Another access door and then your water bay is right behind that. So they've also changed the water bay and made it easier to function and use as you can see. Here is your battery compartment with your Lithionics batteries. You do have the Onan 2500i propane generator. And then of course, if you're getting the Sprinter Echo, there are tons of mods that you can do. As you can see behind us, this is actually Grant's from Freedom Van Gogh. And he has the first Sprinter Echo out in the world, in the wild and look what he's done to this thing. So if you visit him, he can get you kitted out, all the additional lights, you know, making this thing look that much more aggressive. And if you take a look down here, look at those. And I'm sure he's got plenty more that he's gonna do, but uh, this is just to show you guys what you can do on that Sprinter Echo. So contact him at Freedom Van Gogh if you're looking to do some kitting out. So we hope you guys enjoyed this brief tour of the new Winnebago Echo on the Sprinter chassis. A little bit longer, front lounge area, really checks a few boxes for people that were looking for that much more space. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a big thumbs up, drop a comment below and let us know what you think of the new Winnebago Echo Sprinter. And as always, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'd love to have you along for all of our adventures. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys next time. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. to see